Gavin Tunstall thought he'd found his purpose in life when he joined the army. And for 15 years, he served his country. But it didn't end well. If you haven't been in that situation, you have no clue until you've gone through it. You can't be trained for that. Today, he gave evidence at the Royal Commission into Defence and Veteran Suicide. It was a deployment to Afghanistan that changed everything. He saw two children killed. It's not usual for children to be fighting. It's not usual for children to fire a machine gun. It's not usual for me to be inspecting their dead bodies. I expected men. His time in conflict left him with significant mental trauma. He considered taking his own life. Mr Tunstall was medically discharged in 2020. He told the Commission that since then, the only contact he's had from the Army were a few surveys, which he deleted. Lack of support for veterans has been a common theme in the hearings here in Tasmania. The state has more than 17,500 veterans. That's the highest rate per capita in the country. Despite this, veterans struggle to find doctors that can deal with them and are regularly forced to fly into state for crisis mental health services. Darwin and Tasmania are in the same boat where we don't have inpatient programs and we don't have outpatient programs and we don't even have dedicated beds for, for veterans and first responders. As for Mr Tunstall, he's found a new purpose. I want to help. I was a veteran in the dark. I'm now starting to get out of it. I want to offer that to other people like myself who are stuck. I don't want any more to take their life. Lucy MacDonald, ABC News.